now let's see about uh, depth of a search. Uh, depth of a search is a graph traversal technique. Uh, graph traversing means uh, visiting the vertices or the nodes of the graph. Uh, we can traverse the graph in two ways. The first way is uh, uh, depth of a search and the second way is breadth of a search. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, depth of a search. Uh, depth of a search means uh, visit all the vertices up to the deepest level and continue so on okay so let me have a, a graph like this so let me have a graph like this uh, let us assume that this is the starting vertex so we have to visit all the vertices till the deepest level and uh, uh, we have to traverse like this uh, we need to perform some backtracking and pushing operations and visit all the nodes so here the basic principle is uh, let us start from a starting vertex and examine and visit all the nodes till we get the deepest level and go to the previous levels like this okay uh, dfs uses a data structure called stack for its implementation uh, whereas we know that bfs uses q for its implementation whereas dfs uses stack for its for its implementation uh, now let's see the algorithm for the dfs depth of a search and then with the help of an example, uh, we will demonstrate uh, DFS algorithm in detail. Uh, so let's see the first step here, uh, DFS algorithm. So let's see the first step. Take any vertex as the starting vertex and insert it onto the top of the stack and make the status as visited. Okay. Second step, while the stack is not empty, we have to perform two steps. First one, second one. So let's see the first one. Select any unvisited adjacent vertex of the corresponding vertex. Uh, that is nothing but uh, the vertex which is at the top of the stack. And uh, insert that into the stack. Uh, so what we are doing here, uh, select any unvisited adjacent vertex of the corresponding vertex and push it onto the stack and make the status as visited. Next step, if there is no unvisited adjacent vertex, uh, then perform backtracking and then pop an element from the stack. So simply how many steps we have here? We have two steps. What is the first step? Select any vertex as the starting vertex and push it onto the top of the stack and make the status as visited. So make the status of that uh, starting vertex as visited. Okay. Next step. While the stack is not empty, then we have to perform two activities. First activity, uh, that vertex, that top vertex uh, may contain any number of adjacent vertices. Out of all which, we need to select one unvisited adjacent vertex and push it onto the top of the stack and make that vertex status as visited. And BB, uh, if there is no vertex to visit, then perform the backtracking. That means uh, move to its previous level and then uh, pop the stack. Pop the stack. So this is the algorithm. Uh, now, with the help of this algorithm, uh, let us see an example. Now, let us solve this problem with the help of DFS algorithm. Uh, initially, we have to select one of the vertex as uh, starting vertex. Uh, let A be the starting vertex. Uh, so, we have to insert A onto the top of the stack and make A status as visited. Okay. So, we have to do these activities. Uh, let us write step 1 here. So, step 1. Uh, here we have a stack as well as result. So result specifies that uh, the order in which we are visiting the vertices or nodes. Uh, so initially we are assuming that A as the starting vertex. So push A onto the top of the stack. So A is pushed. Uh, this is nothing but a visited matrix. So initially A is visited. So we have to make its status as 1. So 1 specifies that the vertex is visited. Uh, various 0 specifies that the vertex is not visited. 
uh, initially all the elements are filled with uh, zeros so whenever we visited any vertex then we have to insert one there okay so a is visited so the output is a okay uh, let us write step 2 so what is step 2 uh, in step 2 we have uh, two operations uh, while the stack is not empty then we have to select one of the unvisited edges and vertex which is available in top of the stack so we have to first we need to select uh, the edges and vertices of a out of which we have to select one of the unvisited edges and vertex and push it onto the top of the stack and make the status as visited suppose if there is no need no node to visit then we have to perform the backtracking as well as perform the pop operation okay so here initially we have a on that stack next what are the vertices edges and vertices of a we have b d as well as e but let, let us assume that this is level 0 this is level 1 so depth first edge means uh, starting from the starting vertex we have to go till we get the deepest level okay uh, so it is better to select b here other than D and E, it is better to select B because this is nothing but one level. Okay, so push B onto the top of the stack. So result is A as well as now B is visited. So A comma B. Now let us write the next step. Step three, same process. While the stack is not empty, then select one of the unvisited adjacent vertex of B. Why? Because now the stack's topmost element is B. So what are the adjacent vertices of B? C. E and E. Here B is visited. So we have to make the status as visited. So the adjacent vertices of B are A, C and E. But A is already visited. Out of C and E, we have to select one vertex. But it is better to select C here because this is nothing but one level. So select C and push it onto the top of the stack. So C is pushed onto the top of the stack. So C is visited. Now let us write the next step. Step 4, step 4, A, B, C are visited, A, B, C are visited, uh, next uh, uh, let us take the adjacent vertices of A, here C is visited, so make the status as visited, uh, so what are the adjacent vertices of C, because this C is at the top of the stack, so B, G, e, F, G, but B is already visited, so out of G, F, G, e, we have to select the one vertex uh, but if we select g then directly we can get the output from g we can go to f from f we can go to e from e we can go to d so there is no need of any backtracking uh, so that's why I'm, I'm selecting e here so let us select the adjacent vertex e and push it onto the top of the stack so previously the output is a b c now e is visited so e will get into the output next step step five Step 5. So what, what are the elements which are in the stack? A, B, C, E, A, B, C and E. Next, we have, while the stack is not empty, here the stack is not empty. So select one of the unvisited adjacent vertex of E. So what are the, here uh, E is visited. So its value is 1 now. So what are the adjacent vertices of E? We have A, B, C, F and D. A, B, C are already visited. So here it is better to select D now. So D, so push it onto the top of the stack and make the status as visited. So A, B, C, E, D. Okay. Uh, next, so make the status of D as visited. So D as visited. So here we have 1. So 1 specifies that D is visited. Uh, now let us do the next step. Step 6. While the stack is not empty. Uh, so here the stack is not empty. Uh, so we have to select one of the unvisited adjacent vertex of D. So what are the adjacent vertices of D? A, E. Uh, but here uh, uh, A is already visited as well as E is already visited. Okay. Uh, this E is already visited as well as A is already visited. So there is uh, no node to visit. So if there is no node to visit, then we have to perform the backtracking. So backtracking means here uh, uh, pop an element from the stack. So what is the topmost element? D. So D will be popped from the stack. So the output here is A, B, C, B. So this D will be popped from the stack. And here there is no change in the output. A, B, C, E, D only. Here there is no need to delete D. Okay. Only we have to delete D from the stack only. Okay. 
because we visited D only, D also. Okay. Now let us do the next step, step seven. Uh, now we are at uh, at which node? E node. Uh, so what are the adjacent vertices of E? B, C, F. But B, C are already visited. F is not visited. So push F onto the top of the stack. So now the stack contains A, B, C, E. Now we have selected F. So push F onto the top of the stack and mark the status as visited. So what is the output now? So previously we have A, B, C, E, D. Now we visited F. So F. Uh, now let us write the next step. Step eight. So what are the adjacent vertices of F? C, E, G. But C is already visited, E is already visited, but G is not visited. So it is better to push G onto the top of the stack. So A B C E F G. Okay. A B C E F G. So now G is pushed. So the output here is A B C E D E F G. G is pushed. Uh, so now we are at G now. Uh, so while the stack is not empty, here the stack is not empty. So what are the adjacent vertices of G, C and F, but here uh, all the nodes are visited now. There, there is no need to visit. So we need to perform at each step. We need to perform backtracking. So backtracking means uh, perform the stack pop operation. So now what we have in uh, G will be deleted from the stack. So if D is deleted, then the output is uh, A B C E F. Here there is no change in the output. Same output. Okay. Uh, now, what are the unvisited adjacent vertices of F? Because stack topmost element is F now. There is no node to visit. So, we need to perform the backtracking. So, delete F from the stack. Now, we are at F, E. There is no need to visit the adjacent vertices of E because all the nodes are visited. So, delete E from the stack. Ne next, we are at C. There is uh, no node to visit about the adjacent vertices of C. So, perform the pop operation. Perform the pop operation, perform this pop operation. Now the stack is empty. So this is the output here. A, B, C. That means first we have visited level 0. Next one E, D, F. So that means next we have visited this level followed by this one. Okay. This is a, this G will also comes under level 1. Okay. So in this way we can traverse a graph with the help of the DFS algorithm.